Yeah, I just broke my trans probably. As car enthusiasts, I think we can all agree whenever we get a new car, we're pretty much all inclined to seeing how fast this new car can go, seeing how quick it is, racing people and that sort of thing. But when you have multiple cars, those of you who own multiple cars, there's not only an itch for that, but there's an itch to see which car is faster. As you guys should all know, I just bought, I recently bought an Evo 10, and I also own, this is my wife's Jeep SRT8. It might not seem like much, but uh, I took it to a drag strip right before I left California, and I absolutely whooped in this Jeep. It's an all-wheel drive, 475-something, some odd horsepower mom wagon and it's fast. It absolutely whooped Dustin's Evo, and I'm pretty sure it'll whoop this one, but I want to have a race with my wife to see, is my wife's car faster, or is my Evo faster today? Now, it should be nobody's surprise that this car in about a month will be the absolute fastest of all of my cars. I'm thinking we need a grudge match today, boys. The downside to owning a lot of cars is there's a lot to maintain. Like this car needs literally fluids in every single compartment that you can put fluids. I actually don't think this car needs to be maintained at all yet, but it needs to be built. This car needs a, oh, an oil change. We're gonna use this to choose which car we're gonna work on today. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Preschool time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo. Looks like we're gonna work on the SRT today. You gotta know how to talk in the South, okay? You don't go to a Valvoline here in Texas and say, I wanna change my oil. You say, hey, I need an oil change. And that's how you communicate with the boys down here in the South. I need to do windshield squirter relocator kit. I need to seal the hood with wax. And then I have to do the hood inserts. That is officially not what I ordered at all. So these little guys are hood vents, very overpriced hood vents. Okay, hello. These are extremely overpriced hood vents, straight from Dodge, right off of what in the bag flab and freaking frick. Well, these are from a Hellcat, and I'm gonna have to figure out. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to put these on, but. Problem. I only have two of these, and I have one main vent that uh, I that's it's not the correct vent, the one that they sent me. It's supposed to use a charger vent, and they most definitely sent me a Challenger one. So we're gonna have to return this one. But problem. I only have two of these, and these are like evidently they're military grade plastic, and they're like eighty dollars a piece. Yo, if anybody got the hookup on these, that would be that would be much appreciated. Hey, look, guys, I figured it out. Look at this. I haven't bolted it in yet, but uh, that's nice. Now only uh, one, two, three, four, five thousand more dollars to go. Yes, sir. Needs to be louder. We're gonna finish the exhaust on this car tomorrow, and I'm, excite I'm excited about that. And I'm getting the muffler in today. I got an in one style muffler, and I passed inspection. We passed it, <laughs> and the guy that drove it into the shop stalled. He stalled my car. It was on my Instagram story if you saw it. It was. I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone with this trip. I gotta buy seven quarts of oil for the Jeep. It's a lot of freaking oil. Seven quarts of oil for the Jeep and 5.1 quarts for the for the one JZ. The one JZ for some reason uses that .1. I'm just gonna tell you guys a little secret. I just hit my head, but I use five. Hate me. Woo. The 
problem with specialty cars, yeah, drift cars in specific, is you need to run oh, oil that's thicker than a ball of oatmeal. It's hard to find. I was always told to run 15W50, but I'm gonna do 15W40 in this one. The Lexus needs that thick life. There you go, that's good. Oh my God, she looks so good. Oh. Before we start, since we're in the garage, I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the hood sealant. I'm just gonna take a nice thick coat of my really nice wax and just uh, since it's clean and everything like that, I'm just gonna do a nice coat over it and while I'm doing the oil change, it can sit there and uh, it can cure and create a nice seal over the hood. That should create a nice thin layer of Protec from the sun. Now that's done, let's go ahead and get this oil changed. I am ready to race. Oh, there's actually water in the hood. What? Hold up, hold up, hold up, look at this. There's water inside of it. What? Try this again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my lord. Actually, this is perfect. I've been needing to clean my engine bay for forever, and this gives me an excuse to do it. All this is ridiculously easy to reach, so it takes about five minutes. Now let's go ahead and piss off the neighbors and spread that oil around a little bit. As much as I love the big installs, it feels so good to just, it, it feels good to have days to just get stuff done. Now this is the first video you're watching on the channel. I don't always just do little stuff like this. Sometimes, some days are just a vlog in my life where guess what, I gotta do the stuff that I gotta do. If you want videos every day, I gotta do it sometime. I'm gonna cut into this right here. See you later, dude. Not sure exactly, because this is like hard plastic. These are actually hard lines. I might be able to maybe heat this up and get this around it, but these are not uh, these are not tubes. These are actual hard lines. You guys have no idea what I had to do to get this connection. I had to superheat my needle nose pliers to get into this hard line, to stretch the hard line out, and now, since it's actually on there, I'm gonna have to probably superheat that to melt it onto the connection. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Oh! Oh, yes, sir. There you go. Good on ya. Clean that window. Clean that window. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I'm about to feast me some, some dank Chinese food, and then we're gonna have that grudge race. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna beat you. You're not gonna beat me. I am too. I am too. I am too. All right, let's go. You better get whooped. You ready to lose? You ready to lose? On my Subaru, this access port used to have a thing where I could tune launch control. And I'm pretty sure this still has it. Uh, there's nothing to adjust. Oh, wait, do I need a state? Maybe I need a stage one tune to adjust any of that. Dang, whenever I got the car, he had two-step programmed into it, but uh, I think because I changed it to stock map, that I, mm, I can't, I can't do that. Dang, I need to launch though. I'm trying to whoop my wife, dog. All right, boys. The moment we've been waiting for for a little bit. Going down, baby. That car looks pretty mean back there. Gotta make sure I turn nitrous on, AC off. Oh, that's on, fully on, actually. Here you go, yeah, uh, you know, the boosters are right. The AFRs don't work. This is, this is perfect, dog. This is it. I'll, uh, Go on the third hunk. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three, on the third hunk. So one, two, three. All right, see if I can launch. Oh, let me practice my launch real quick. No, no, practice. no practices? Come on. All right. Ready? Catch it up! Track
traction control turned on. My traction control turned on. Yeah, I just started out to turn it off. You want to go that way? We started catching it though. I'm surprised that stock Evo, my Porsche, we raced the Porsche versus that. And the Porsche has decent power, but it's lightweight. It's really lightweight. So uh, the Porsche was able to keep up. It is able to keep up with it on a roll, but uh, a dig got absolutely eaten up. You got booty cheeks eaten up. Ready? Oh no! Golly, dude. Ah, I can't get a good launch on this. She is eating me alive though. <laughs> ASC system service required. Yeah, I just destroyed my, yeah, I just broke my trans probably. All right, you wanna do a roll? Let's find a way, let's find a way to, somewhere to do it. I'm still no, you're not, not on a roll. I don't think you're gonna beat me. From like 40, I don't think so. All right, let's hope I didn't break my transmission. No, we're good, dude. Can you not launch these cars without them thinking they break? Brutal, dude. That thing, absolutely, from a dig, dude, that car eats people alive. People sleep on the Jeep SRTs, but they're stupid fast. Oh, she thinks she cool that she won, but she not. She not. I'm still gonna beat her, I, I hope, I think. Go 40. This Mustang's... Mustang. What the hell? Where did he come from? This guy was just following. <laughs> what the hell is that? I mean, this guy's gonna ask me to race. He's just staring at me right now. He's just staring at me. I'm just racing my wife, dog. Yeah. Was that good enough for you? Yeah, that was good for me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just go back because I forgot my Porsche key. I haven't. Oh, okay. Sorry, Mustang. You probably wanted to race me, but uh, obviously. I think it was a 5.0. Obviously, a Mustang's gonna beat this. It's a stock Evo. Actually, he had a hard time keeping up with me. I think that would have been a really fair, pretty, pretty close race. And I have no fuel. We had a Boo! Yeah, I know. He just decided to come up and race with us. That was pretty, pretty funny. How you feel? I still beat you on the draft. Okay, that's not fair. You have an automatic car that weighs 70,000 pounds. Actually, it's, it's, it's plenty of fair, I guess. Close enough. Honestly, dude, for a stock Evo and a boost controller, it's pretty good. Is, is that or is that not goals? Racing with your wife? On it, I have to admit, I think that she would have won if she was driving a manual, but I don't think she, she knows how to drive a manual, but she doesn't like to. If she was already like in second gear, it might have been closer. Who knows, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. And I don't know who that guy in the Mustang was. If you watch the channel, you might, I don't know, but what's up, dude? That was kind of funny. <laughs> I need to go get some gas, and then I've got to go to my dad's house to grab my Porsche out, uh, because there's a guy coming to look at it tonight, so I need to bring it over to here. I'm gonna swap cars and I'm gonna drive the Porsche home, which I'm excited for. I haven't driven it in a little while. Drop a like for Super Wiener. He protected us from the police and kept us safe and uh, let me win one. Oh yes, daddy missed you. <laughs> Back for you tonight or tomorrow. Guys, cross, I can't do it right now, but cross your fingers for me that we can sell this thing tonight. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> it's probably gonna be one of the only times the Porsche's here, so we gotta get, we gotta show the neighbors what's up. <laughs> Oh god, freaking shut the garage, shut the garage. Shh, 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 that was not me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, the part two of Battle of the Dailies, which is basically what I do every time I get a new car. I, I race my dailies, I see which one's faster. For now, I'm gonna still say that the Jeep might be a little faster, but 
gonna have to change that. And I hope you also enjoyed uh, Car Part Roulette. That's gonna be something that I'm probably gonna be doing for the next few days, just to kind of chill out before the Evo build starts. I'm really excited about that, I'm really stoked about that. We've got most of the parts here, but I'm still waiting on a uh, downpipe, and I'm still waiting on a custom-made turbo manifold. So, and my turbo should be shipped tomorrow. So anyways, um, that's gonna be it. I actually just wrote down this. Uh, this is some stuff, this is all the stuff I'm gonna be have to, <laughs> <laughs> That's for my Evo. This is all the stuff that I need to do. Um, thankfully, we got to uh, thankfully we got to do that oil change, and we got to do windshield squirters. We got to seal that dang gum hood, and then we still need to do dang gum hood inserts. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys again tomorrow, or maybe no, not for you. Sorry, not tomorrow. Peace out, boys, and be victorious. This garage smells like Porsche booty. I actually don't know what Porsche booty smells like, but make sure you guys watch one of those two videos I have right in front of you. Um, I, yeah, those two videos. I'm just gonna be awkward now. This is probably the worst one I've ever done. Wow, this is weird. I'm gonna go ahead and stop now.